Yo, what's up? We are now at Nordic EV Summit 2023 in uh, Oslo and today I'm going to do a walk around. Fortunately, this one is going to be shorter, so it's not that massive. I can show you that uh, that's the entrance area. Uh, there's a wardrop over there, not too interesting registration there. And we only this time have one hall. You see over there, they close it. Uh, so this is Lillestrøm, by the way. So yes, let's do the walk again. Uh, it's mainly chargers this year. Not Well, actually, I think it was always like that. It's not too much about the cars. So uh, yeah, uh, where do we start? Ooh, oh, I like the slick design of this charger uh, dispenser. Look here. It's quite tall. It's taller than a, a, a guy. There is a screen there, an RFID reader. So, yeah, slick design. And this one seems to be AC, I'm not sure. Yeah. So, all right. So, uh, where do we start? Let me, I need to take a, uh, I need to have a, a plan uh, how to walk around. Oh, wait, 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 what is this? This is Mer. Yeah, Mer is a charge point operator in Norway and actually they operate also in Sweden. So we see Mer, yeah, yeah Statkraft. It used to be uh, Gurren Kontakt and Statkraft is uh, a Norwegian uh, governmental uh, stuff. Well, they have, they have Mer water. <laughs> and what is this? Mer uh, candy, yeah. But okay, let me see. Do I do I uh, see any one I recognize at Mer? I know the Mer guys. Uh, it's mostly. Wait, is that Robert? Oh, Yo, what's up? Wait, how? <laughs> we we keep bumping into each it, other. Always, every day. I just walking around, minding my own business, and yeah. this gentleman comes up to me. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, how it's are very you? Good to see you. Glad, nice to see you. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but how are you doing? Very good, thank you. Very yeah. good. I'm just having a bit of late lunch. Uh, sorry for... Uh, I don't uh, want for... to spit anything on the lens. That's fine, that's fine. You know, in my channel, people are used to me eating anyway. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah. But have you been on stage? Are you, yes, this uh, oh. morning I did a, a, the keynote speech, first of all, but it was very short. It didn't uh -huh. go on for long. Oh, Ten okay. minutes. It's very good. Yeah. And I, was, I did it, managed to finish eight seconds before the end. Oh. So I got it right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Good, yeah. Good. Yeah. But I think I'm just doing my thing now. Right. And nice to see you. Yeah. yeah. Well, are you, will you be around tomorrow as well? Unfortunately not. All right. I will go on a trip tomorrow with my family. So it's only today. Yeah. But it's lovely to see you. Anyway. Yeah. Nice yeah. to see you too. Yeah. See, see you next year. The next one. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Always nice to meet uh, Robert. But okay. Uh, yeah. He's from Philly Chart, by the way, if you guys don't know. So anyway, uh, we were looking for. Well, I was actually looking for people I recognize, and we just bump into Robert, big star. But well, okay, anyway, um, what is over here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I have to tell you guys. What is this? Uh, hello! Uh, I, we keep bumping into people I, I know. Hey. Let, me, let me go over here, uh, if I can get the light right there. There, there, there. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so this is um, um, from Ola. Fort Ola Gudbrand Hamper from Fortum. Well, it used to be Fortum. Used to be Fortum. Now it's Tesla. Now it's uh, Fortum is called Recharge, Recharge yeah. Infra. But yeah. I don't work at uh, I work at Tesla Supercharging. Yeah, so, yeah, you see, he has a Tesla. He went to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> so is is uh, are you one of the reasons why Tesla has so good supercharger network in oh, the absolutely. north of Norway? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, my heart is probably a bit stone cold, that's why, you know. Yeah, yeah. I remember the epic trip we went to <laughs> Finnmark. Yeah. That was actually a really epic trip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys should watch it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you're uh, getting more educated? Yes. Here? Mm -hmm. Lots of charges here, so that's cool to see, cool to experience, ask uh, questions about. Have you been to uh, Harderweik? No. In the Netherlands, the V4? Oh, oh, no, not yet. I was expecting you to take a road trip. When is Tesla Bjorn going down there to, you know, do the, the Tesla Bjorn? Uh... I'm a daddy now, you know. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fully I fully understand. Otherwise, I would just drive over there yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and have some bratwurst on the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah. Hey, I got to go, but it was so cool seeing you. Uh, but okay, uh, when do we get V4 in Norway? Oh, soon, <laughs> soon, soon. Oh, yes, uh, okay. Soon, soon. Yeah, we'll all right. See. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll let you know. Yeah, all right, thank you. Yeah, so that was Ola. Oh, man, nice. Uh, let me see. Uh, this is, um, you know, 
I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, I don't know if you see, but the, you can see that uh, one thing though is that people around here, they're wearing suits and they're, they're well dressed, except for me. <laughs> because this is business to business. Uh, so there are not regular people here. And um, uh, the ticket to get here, I got a free ticket via Camp Power, yeah. but the ticket here cost 7,000 nook around 700 euros for the ticket. I was like, what the heck? But then I said, you know, for 7,000 nook, you better have free food. And they said, yeah, you get free food. I was like, wait, where's the food? Where's food? I came in for the food. Let's see. Uh, here we have some, oh no, it's out, out. You know, it's, it's empty. They had some food, oh, there's one left. Oh, I'm not sure if it's that one, oh, okay. There was supposedly some reindeer food here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm, I missed this one. We had to go to the next food uh, food booth. But okay, I I need to cover some stuff. Uh, keep bumping into uh, uh, people I, I know. Oh, do, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, he's busy. He's busy. Yeah. So, anyway, that was Ionity. But okay. Hypercharger, that's um, a charger operator. Uh, sorry, a charger manufacturer. And then, uh, what do we have here? A visa? Why is visa represented here? Oh, maybe for charging. And then, uh, <laughs> there's probably someone who knows me. But look here, X-Charge. Ooh, big fun. But this is more traditional charger design, uh, where you have everything in one box, except for that I like, wait, let me see. Uh, it's better to show on this side. I like this one. Oh, I like, well, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna try. Yeah, the, the guys to be like, hey, what the heck? What the heck is that guy doing? Oh, oh, you, oh you want to demonstrate? Uh, 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 oh, oh! Why haven't I seen that one before? You, 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 you know that that uh, that. Uh, yeah, where you you pull it and then it locks, and then you pull it. Uh, how far can you pull it? And then, wow! Why have we not seen this solution before? You see here. And the kid. Welcome to our charger. <laughs> and the, now we're cooking because uh, typically the, cha the, the, the plug. Okay, uh, let me explain what the problem is. Oh, okay, oh, oh, you have to you have to press like this, it. This you going down, sorry. Okay, okay. You can do it like this. You have to click it, yeah. Okay, or if you could. Or you do it like this. Okay, let me, if I can get the plug, please. I want to explain something here. If you can take it out for me, please. The, the plug. First, first, this. Yeah. Number one. Okay, but can I, can I just, uh, I need to hold it for I'm going to show you something. Let me explain. This is a CCS2 plug. Yes. And the problem is that um, if there is no good cable management system, ma uh, traditionally with the tritium and uh, FSEC AVB chargers, these plugs will drop to the ground. And then when they drop to the ground, eventually they, they, they are sharpness of plastic all over the place. And they might actually get stuck in the charge port in the car. And then you have handshake problems. So you don't want this plug to fall on the ground. Plus that someone needs to pay for it eventually when they change this. So that means increased charging cost. So that's why, okay, put it back. That's why having some kind of uh, cable management should actually be mandatory. It should be standard on chargers nowadays. So yeah, I like the solution. That was uh, pretty cool. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, that's cool, that's cool, okay. Well, th thank, you, thank you very much. <laughs> so here, uh, for you guys who are interested, X-Charge, yeah, they have some uh, cool stuff. Uh, here is another one, wow, that's a, that's a, I just noticed they have a freaking huge screen. I guess they could put the advertisement here, but then uh, uh, people who charge, they don't care about advertisement, right? Uh, here's me. Okay, yeah, me. They also use um, uh, Camp Power chargers. And then let's move over here. ABB. Oh, okay. ABB. Oh, this is uh, the 360. Yeah, Tera 360. The world's fastest charger. Well, it was the world's fastest charger, right? So, uh, you know, in, in comparison, we can see here. This one also has some kind of cable, uh, uh, you see? But I think this one doesn't lock. Every time you pull it, it will always try to pull it back automatically. Let me see, can I hold it with one hand and see if I can... Yeah, yeah let's see, let me try, let me try myself. 
So if I hold it like this, and then I pull it, and I pull it, how far can I pull it? Okay, but it will always try to retract, and there is no locking position there. That was such a revelation with the other charger. Oh, interesting. There's a test. There's a dummy screen there. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Cool. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, they have uh, advertisement or or something here. Okay. Yeah. And then the, there's a. This is the ABB. The ABB charging screen, as you know it from. I was about to say uh, uh, 1995, <laughs> but okay, it's a little bit newer than that. Well, anyway, so that's ABB. They are uh, represented here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this one should be in a museum, but it is actually the one. It looks like the old one, but it has been beef, beefed up. Uh, suppose the, the demo screen here shows 130 kilowatt, 150 kilowatt. So there is more oomph under the hood, yeah, under this one. But kind of all. Old-fashioned design, to be honest, and I guess the plugs here, they are prone to fall on the ground. Okay, anyway, move over to what's up over here. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, maybe we don't have to look uh, too much on... Uh, tri tritium! Tritium, yes! My good friend from Tritium! They are here. The, this is the, the RTM, I think it's for. Or the R RTFM, I think it's called RTM75, uh, uh, from what I remember. And here you can see it on the inside of the tritium chargers. So, uh, you haven't seen many of these. Oh, what is this? Ah, payment system, a uh, card payment system. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Um, all right, let me see. Uh, maybe I should move this direction. Try to, to cover everything to see. There is just plenty of charging boxes, yeah, <laughs> charging. Uh, this is battery too, this is, um, this is uh, EV, uh, ba battery recycling. You see this, uh, what battery pack is this? I'm not sure, I can't, do you guys recognize the shape? Uh, I guess uh, it's a Jaguar, it's, it's probably, uh, it could be an I-Pace battery. So, um, yeah, it's all about recycling batteries. There is a, a demo video here. You can show parts of it. Well, actually, except for that, those are uh, AA batteries. Okay. Um, but, okay, here. Chem power, of course. I need to show that chem power, they're also represented here. Yeah, we have a bunch of chem power people. And we have the, the um, this is the T-series. This is the one I want to have in my garage. <laughs> you see, 40 kilowatt DC in my garage. Yes, I would like to have that. Oh, we just have to feed it with a Pixie battery. A 50 kilowatt, kilowatt hour battery somehow. And then I can have 40 kilowatt DC in my garage. So there we have uh, Kempar people. Uh, what else should I show? Yeah, yeah, so I can show that this is the, the traditional uh, uh, dispensers. Well, actually, no, no. These are the new ones. Yeah, these are the new ones. And also this one here, uh, if I can show you. It's, it's a new dispenser. <laughs> and it has, yeah, it was pointing. You know, in the lower here, that's where the meter is going to be. It's, um, it's the EU, it's the EU regulation, regulation, okay. Yeah, so e, EU regulation requires chargers to have a meter so you can see that you have received the correct kilowatt hour that you're getting that you have to pay for something like that so the new uh, chem power dispenser is taller than before and um, yeah all right and then I can show that uh, if we go over here we have we have uh, more charging stuff and here I'm not sure what it is and then here we have a small stage a mini stage with some speeches from now and then and then there's a big stage over there so let me walk over in this direction i have to go on a weird a weird route to be able to cover everything uh what do we have mm, just giving you guys the vibe okay there are some cars there all right let's check out some cars siemens is versus the eye charging wait wait huh is that something else yeah there's something else yeah Again, just another hard uh, charging uh, thingy. 
Siemens also they have the chargers. Yeah, I actually don't see too many Siemens chargers. So these, uh, you see, more and more common now that the, the chargers they have, they have this cable design. But same here, it just will always retract. The the other one there was brilliant because it actually locks into place. So right. Um, but okay, I uh, will show you here. There are some cars, but probably not that interesting because some of these cars, you guys have seen them before. So here we have coffee and bacon. Oh, can I find food here? Oh, can I find food? Uh, coffee. Okay, uh, it's just free for all. Yeah, there's some croissant over there and some food maybe. I'll check it out. But let's see now. Here we have a, a Tesla. Um, Mustang ID. Wait, is that the E E? <laughs> this ID bus E E six four four ten zero. I recognize it. It's the one we took to um, Jöteborg, <laughs> and actually tomorrow we're going back to Jöteborg, another trip, but with Aria E fours. But okay, so here we have uh, Voya Free, and then I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, yeah. Ride and drive anywhere, of course. Wait, wait, there's so much stuff going on here. Supercharged. Whoa, what the heck? What is this? This caught my uh, attention. They have supposedly 400 to 900 kilowatts. What is this alien technology? It's, uh, it's a delta charger. Okay, all right. Then this is getting better. Yes, percent card. 500 uh, Swiss franc, okay, but they are basing it on the Delta charger. There's probably some beefy stuff inside this uh, thingy here. Hmm. Supercharged. Where have I seen this before? You see the logo. Uh, I, I think they have a char yeah, they have a charging network. But oh, this is a trailer. Oh, it's a it's a charging trailer. Yeah, I now I recognize that guy. He said, yeah, uh, he wants to talk to me. The guy in the black suit. Yeah, about the supercharge. Yeah, <laughs> but look, 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 look here, look here. So they have some kind of ride and drive, I think, over here. Uh, I'm not sure what's up. Uh, some kind of drive. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm, I'm just curious now. I think we are backstage. This is backstage. That's, that's the main stage. Okay, yeah. But well, anyway, let's go over here. Eliware. If you guys remember Eliware. No, made in Norway product. They uh, just take components from other uh, chargers. Oh yeah, you know the um, Eliware. Yeah, that, I recognize some of the guys. So, um, this is the Made in Norway charger from anywhere. You, know, you can see here that, the, oh, this is probably some prototype, but you see everything here just looks so rugged. You could probably crash a car into this and it will almost not take damage. And you will have to ask if the car was okay. So, uh, yeah, it's a 360. Hey, son, hey, son. I hope I'll shoot the video. So yeah, that's the charger and I can show you that the, the whole anywhere thing is that here behind me here You see you see the, you feed the thing actually this is actual feed, but I don't know how fat this is um, Wait, this is more than 63 amp is it this, this is be more I don't know how much it is But uh, maybe twice that much or something It's freaking homo look look how compared to my fist How big this one is Yeah uh, wild guess, maybe 100 kilowatt feed. But uh, here are the stuff uh, for you guys who haven't seen it before. Th these are the Pixie uh, chargers. And then this is actually the, 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 their own anywhere charger stack and some communication uh, and control units over here. And the whole idea with anywhere is that you have a, well, it's a container, it looks like a container. It has the same size as a container. It can be easily set up just, just like here. Just, this is a prime example, this event. They just slap it down here, connect it, and that's it. And it's up and running, online, and ready to charge. You see, we are charging a Tesla right now. You can see that the charger is active, and you can see here. 
we are charging now at 79 kilowatt, 80 kilowatt. So it's, yeah, I don't know uh, how the power comes from, if it comes from only the batteries or how it is. But yeah, so that's cool. Uh, well, oh, they, this one, they have the solution with the, the giant screens. So charger point operators, they can have, for example, think about this, Circle K, they can run ads here, you know, hot dogs, ice cream, yeah, and get customers, get the charging customers to go inside the gas station and buy their stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, cool to see that one is act in action. And there we have some uh, other Eliware people. <laughs> so let me see, uh, I can show you here. No, this is nothing, that's just the storage. Yeah. So, so very limited what we have now. I will go back. Uh, there was a little bit of stuff we did not cover. So let me sweep through here. Yeah, the main station. Okay, let me go here. So, yeah, as you guys see, the EV Summit, uh, wait, was it called EV Summit? Oh, Avilo, Avilo, we have to also mention, Avilo is also here. You see those boxes, I've been using them before. It's a battery degradation test. So you, you uh, hello, hi. hi. So you, you uh, actually rent these uh, boxes and then uh, they will run the test for you. You just have to do the driving and then they actually make they can they, they are sitting on lots the, the thing is that they have lots and lots of data big data and they can analyze uh, your car for you uh, and figure out how much uh, degradation you have so highly accurate uh, degradation test from avilo and then let's keep moving uh what is that oh a fi <laughs> yeah, this is the fisker ocean i heard that it doesn't have any juice left and that uh, uh, the trunk cannot be open because it's a kaput. And I heard that one of the doors here does not open. You have to open the other side. This one does not open. And the trunk. <laughs> yeah, that's a camp power guy. So the camp power guys are checking it out. So here you can see that. Um, um, I think you cannot, uh, yeah, you cannot open the trunk here. It's uh, out of power. It's out of power, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's out of power, but we, we have solar. Scheiße, we have solar. <laughs> so yeah, I've seen this before in Barcelona, so I've covered it before. So there's the Fisker is here. I was, uh, ooh, oh, X-Bang is here, ooh. What is it? Let me check here. So yeah, so it's, it's kind of fun. The main story that we have really classified are the products of two generations, the generation one, which is the existing chemistry, the LFP, NMC based chemistry. This is what we will start the production with. And we will base slowly but surely transition to our chemistry, LNMO, where we believe we can make major strides in sustainability. Maybe in cost. you recognize the guy. Mr. And here Lee. we are partnering with a lot of people in Europe. We are partnering with Topso, Arkema, Acheon. And again, addressing this big concern of building a supply chain out of China, because currently, even if you buy, buy okay. battery cells, you make battery cells in uh, in Europe, almost all the active materials are coming from China. Moving on. Almost all the refining is happening in China. Here we are, x So you actually, if you really want this... G9. Company, have I can't wait to test G9. I heard that unofficially, it actually charges even faster than 300 kilowatts. And also, what's crazy about the G9 is that, you know the BMW iX1 I tested? It's like the poor man's BMW, it costs 700k. And it's a small, way smaller car. G9 has way more power, way more space, charges way faster, and it's cheaper. But it's Chinese. <laughs> yeah. So, and then we have this uh, drone thing. I've seen it before in some other vent. They just probably just uh, move it on. And then they have the, I think this is the new P7 refresh. So this, they have some cars here, that's cool. And then what's up over here? More food? Oh yeah, food, food, food. We have food here. Let me check. What kind of food is this? The fruit is just free for all. Vegetable chips, chips and crisp. Okay. All right. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Oh, different. Uh, okay. I'll uh, raid some of the store. I have popcorn over here, of course. I think we covered uh, most of it now. Yeah. So you see, this year it's not that big. Mostly just charging solutions or charging operate, uh, charging hardware manufacturers. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, this one seems to be some kind of charge portable uh, charging box. You see, it takes this one seems to be 63 amp three phase. 
There's an info plate there. You can see some stuff. Uh, and it, it, yeah, it resembles the, the Kempower T series, but it's actually a lot more compact. Hmm. And uh, again, they have just chargers. Smart and uh, yeah. So I just show you guys the brand, and then I guess you can uh, always Google for them if you find something interesting. So I basically did your uh, tr trip to uh, Oslo now, <laughs> pretty much. And then you can always just Google the rest if you're interested. So yeah, but I think I uh, covered most of it. Now I'm just gonna go get some food and then that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.